Hello, hello. Um, so there were this really interesting video by Veritasium. I will leave a link to it. Uh, and it's a video about entropy. And this is interesting because the focus of this video of entropy is the sun. And he expresses with the argument from entropy why the sun is important and how it creates life. And what I will do is that I will show just a bit of it, just a little bit, I, it's probably okay. And uh, then I, I recommend you to see it, of course. And then I will discuss a bit and see what comes out of that, basically. So uh, this, I'm, I'm going to start 19 seconds in because so that I don't play too much. And you will see how it, how it directly ties this subject to the sun. And um, yeah, let's, let's listen to it. May in fact determine the direction of time and even be the reason that life exists. To see the confusion around this topic, you need ask only one simple question. What does the Earth get from the sun? Uh, yeah, what does the Earth get from the sun? And people will realize he talks to people, he talks about entropy, and he makes this quite intelligent connection to to uh, entropy and I didn't know about this it's really smart so um, the entropy if you know what entropy is it's uh, it means uh, disorder and everything gets more disorder all the time but then how does life exist because life is order well um, in this case the sun acts as a source of low entropy okay so i will directly go to the place where where uh, this is shown and then i will talk with you about that what the sun really gives us is a steady stream of low entropy that is concentrated bundled up energy the energy that we get from the sun is more useful than the energy we give back. It's more compact, it's more clumped together. Plants capture this energy and use it to grow and create sugars. Then animals... Okay, interesting. Yeah. Oh, wow. I did not know that. There you go. Wait a moment, I have to find the correct time. Ultimately, all the energy that... I trust you. The increase in entropy can be seen in the relative number of photons arriving at and leaving the Earth. For each photon received from the sun, 20 photons... I trust you. Okay, guys, so what's happening is that yeah, again, I recommend you to see his video. It's, it's really good. Um, the, the sun will create low entropy, a source of low entropy. And entropy is basically use, has to do with usable energy. And how, how, what does it mean? Well, you can see that you can see the disorder here visually because the sun sends just a few uh, photons, you could say, to Earth. Okay, and th this these are actually things that you can measure with. Uh, I mean, these are concepts that are understood, and you can actually measure them. There's a there's a difference here. Because the researchers talk about the low entropy of the Big Bang, there's a low ent entropy, but 
in my opinion, there starts the bullshit, okay? What, what do we know? Well, we can measure the sunlight. We can measure it to be, uh, to be uh, this high, uh, how do you say, uh, blue light or, or high, uh, low entropy light. You see, it, it comes just a few energy packets to, to Earth and, and what leaves Earth are very many energy packets of uh, infrared heat, you see. And here you can see the disorder visually uh, and um, it's very easy to, I'm, you know, I don't have the tools here at, at home to measure this, but I know this can be done. You know, there's a difference between ho hocus pocus theory in physics about Big Bang and where you need like a billion dollar uh, thing to look out to space, but you still don't really know what you're doing. Okay. And there's a difference between like looking at the sun, a subject that most researchers just ignore, you know, why look at the sun? Who cares? Like we know that, uh, oh, hocus pocus, we know that uh, the the global warming has to do with uh, humans, even though every planet in the solar system is also heating, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Th there are these connections that you can say, okay, if Earth is heating, let's look at other planets. Well, there is this connection. Um, so what's interesting here, what I'm trying to say is that there, there is always a connection to the to physics. You see, you can connect religion into physics, and this is also what I'm doing. I will never cross this border. I believe there will never be. It will never be. How do you say? The, it will never be unscientific. The truth of God will never be unscientific. And here is the science. It's very beautiful science about creation and it has to do with entropy, low entropy being converted into high entropy uh, in accordance to the laws of thermodynamics. I don't remember which one of them it is, uh, but yeah, in plain sight. And what do you want? Well, if it's about life, eternal life or whatever. You want to be as close as possible to the sun, okay? You want to be as close as possible to the source of the low entropy. And you convert, you basically trash that energy or you consume that energy of God. You turn it into trash uh, rays uh, that goes out in the form of red, uh, red light or uh, what do you call it? Infrared or uh, long wavelength, high frequency. Uh, how do you say? Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I don't know what more to say. It's it's quite clear what's going on here, and yeah, the energy when it comes to physics, energy in equals to energy out. So it's the same level of energy entering and exiting Earth, but it's in different forms. Uh, the form coming from the sun is the order. It's the, uh, it's the order, okay? The order comes in with these high energies, uh, few packages of, of energy. And it lives in mul multiple packages. So, uh, yeah. Quite simple, guys. And this is why we have... Why we have um, order. Why is there a plant? Why is there life? Why is there something that is not just flat? Why isn't everything just... Uh, a mix, a mix of everything. Why isn't everything just mixed into a, to a substance, right? Well, 
the order, the low entropy comes in and it is converted into high entropy. If you remove the low entropy source of the sum uh, logically and whatever, all, all the signs that I'm finding, this is uh, life is gone. Okay, uh, that's death. So, just wanted to say. And of course, if you didn't know, uh, I wrote a, I wrote a book about this subject. It's called Oath of Hell. The oath is something I realized from uh, diving into the into religion, into spirituality, and, and this this stuff, and into semantics of words. Uh, and se the semantics of words is uh, the, the etymology and the logical connections between words um, carries messages from the collective unconscious, basically. We shape our languages to hold deeper truths and you can find it all there. It's all there and it's presented in the book and uh, this is just one other obvious evidence of life that you as a Christian cannot deny because the, there is this argument against physics in the religious community they say but if it if a, if a system always strives for disorder why is it life at all and then they mock physics okay there's no need to mock physics every uh, the truth is the truth it, the truth is true no matter the perspective and so when you look from 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 physics perspective you find this but it's also hidden you know this is also hidden the 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 mo the, the biggest the the most important thing of all the sun giving life what do we know about it what is the popular knowledge how did how did it spread to us well it didn't because it's hidden Okay, it is hidden about the sun. You see, it is intent—I don't know—intentionally, it is just kept secret about the sun. How important it is, things about it. Okay, but it's the elephant in the room. It's there. We are hundred percent dependent on it. Um, as long as you want to be alive, and and in this book also, I talk about the oath of hell. And the oath of hell is truth. Uh, we are, I believe the sun is alive. It, it's a living being and I call it hell, the being. And um, it is hell, you know. It's also called heliocentrism. We go around the sun, heliocentrism, hell, you see. And um, uh, yeah, um, I also talk about plasma physics in the book and the proof of life is spontaneously formed in plasma and as you know the sun is plasma uh, and uh, I basically try to show to you that the sun is alive and I also tell you that since it's alive uh, it's so big that it's basically a god uh, awareness in this living being and it shoots out it shoots out energy package packages for for this earth creature to to eat you know yeah uh, so that's all just a little talk about the sun veritas veritasium video uh, great great video uh, okay, bye.